Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Bishop. And, I'm, and the day after tomorrow, I'm going to become the first Republican Attorney General of North Carolina elected in 128 years. Good to see you, Mike. A lot is going to change. And what ties it all together is that North Carolina is also going to help elect Donald Trump, the 47th President of the United States. I want to take a minute to thank President Trump for this microphone and this stage which he has so often and so generously shared. Thanks for these rallies that we will remember for the rest of our lives. Thanks for this movement and the love of America it has reignited. Thanks, President Trump, for your toughness and resolve to face down everything they throw at us. Every one of us has our part to play in this movement, in this moment, and in this renewal of our country. President Trump has said he will make America safe again. Well, I'm going to be the Attorney General to restore law and order in North Carolina, back up the men and women of law enforcement, and make sure state and local law enforcement cooperates with President Trump's restoration of our national borders. And that's why I'm endorsed by the North Carolina Troopers Association, the Police Benevolent Association, the Fraternal Order of Police, and more than 75 district attorneys and sheriffs across North Carolina. In an interview, my opponent was asked why I got all of the law enforcement endorsements. He responded by saying, when he is endorsed by the Charlotte Observer and the Raleigh News and Observer, Now, if that weren't bad enough that he seeks to become the top law enforcement officer of the state without a single announced law enforcement endorsement, he proudly proclaims the endorsement of lying leftist legacy media. We've had enough of all that, so I'm ready to do my part. We've had enough of the insanity of defunding police, Soros prosecutors, revolving door justice, cashless bail, Trinde Aragua running apartment complexes, and men playing women's sports and invading their locker rooms. My opponent stood proudly on stage, hugging and celebrating a convicted child molester and registered sex offender. When the news emerged, he said he didn't know. He lied. We've had enough. It's time to stop all the crazy, and I'm ready to do my part. Now get this, all you North Carolinians know this, but let me just say it for us again. Republicans have won early voting for the first time in history. With early voting finished, Republicans are up 30,000 from 2020. Democrats are down 270,000 from 2020. We have a net 300,000 advantage from early voting. But here's the best news of all. There are still plenty of Republican voters who have not yet voted. So we've laid the foundation for a great victory. And now we've all got to vote and we've got to finish the ballot.
You know what to do, and I know you're ready to do your part. My fellow North Carolinians, remember this moment. Savor this moment. Two days. We are ready to get the job done. God bless you. God bless President Trump. God bless North Carolina. And God bless America.